Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingsley's Adventure. We're still in the belly of Dungeon 4. This room is actually very interesting, if anything. Over on the other side of this gate, which warps as wow, that is freaky. But there's a statue on the other side and there's these switches. Pretty much the statue moves once you finish objectives in this area. The first objective is, of course, to flip the switch, which begins the statue pressing other switches. Ultimately, we're going to be needing a banana key in order to get out of here. There is a guy over there, but you know what? Let's take him out. Easy as pie. No enemy can actually guard from crossbow fire, so... That's why the crossbow is actually very effective. Now we gotta go ahead and not dagger the target. Nope, nope. Alright. Let's slit. I tend to be more, like, dead center with this thing. There we go. Park it down, statue moves. It opens up a new way. However, this way is actually rather annoying because giant bands? It's almost like this dungeon is trying too hard. In my opinion, it's just trying to throw ideas at us with no with and it's kind of structuring them, which I kind of like. But... nope. Just nope. I do not like these fans at all. Not at all. So unfortunately, we have to start the room all over again, so I'll meet you back at the fans. Alright, fans. Do your worst! Actually, please don't do your worst. The thing about the fans is that they're just... You really have to direct yourself in the right angles in order to give yourself enough room to get across the platform and still jump to make the next platform. But that'll leave us with actually getting into where the statue actually was. The unfortunate thing is that we have to go through the fans again, and the fans are still active. It's like rubbing salt into a wound. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Why couldn't it have been like that last time? Except there's another enemy. Let's do honorable combat. By, you know, pinning him to a wall. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, take the money. It's offering. I'm gonna take it anyways. And in the back is the banana key we need. However, the statue comes to life this time. Wow, that was freaky that close up. Can you take down the statue? Absolutely. It's not. I think that's one thing the game does does take video on you. It doesn't do invincible enemies, which. Honestly, would be really terrible. So I'm glad they don't. This area is actually rather interesting. I must say. But we have another bat to shoot down, so let's do it. There we go. And that brings us up here. And we can actually simply just continue onwards. However, there's money. I like money. Especially in this place. It still feels kind of weird that this is really... that room. Like, that was simple. Shoot down a bat, get the exit. But now we get into... Fun. And by fun, I mean archers. 
And these archers are not nice. Not nice at all. First off, you can't see them in the dark from regular view. So you do actually have to use your strafing. Or get yourself into a good position in order to actually switch things up. Now, instead of moving forward at this moment, you always want to get a good idea. Like, see? There's an archer out there. I find you. Ah, I hear contact. No. Where are you, dude? Ow! I still want to get rid of that guy. He's gonna kill me if I don't. Or I could just do that. Yeah, this is the part of the dungeon where not only are you going to be shot from a lot of directions, there's also instant death pits. Take that. Get you. Get you. Shoot that already. Jump over. Shoot it again! And we'll continue on to this room and find where that other archer is. I've been lucky enough in the past to actually be able to shoot it properly, but... Well, it's not really great, because he's behind a wall. It's not fun. Hey, there's a key there. Give me the key! No! No, the key! I can't live without it! <laughs> oh, it's not instant death. That's interesting. I want that key, honestly. That's why I'm being dumb, you know? That's why you be dumb, right? You get keys to open chests? That's why I'm dumb all the time. Archer. Always getting in my way. I am a target. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm just gonna be over here. Bloop. Hand me the key, sir! So I can open the chest. I must open chests. It is my destiny! Oh wow, hearts, thanks! That was exactly what I wanted for Christmas. There's another archer somewhere. I just know it. For now, let's just head over and get the checkpoint. There we go. Aha! Assailants! You shan't have me! Well, there's a target over there. So... Can I... It's possible, right? Can I shoot it? I dare not try. Also, I want the uh, refill. I can't backflip over this, come on. Okay. No! Ah. That was dumb. I was dumb. I was dumb. Dum dum me. Oh wait, what? Oh, I just had to shoot the target and they'll do it on their own. Great, and also the wall behind me is... Wow, I am doing really well. I'm 
pretty good, right? Okay. Oh. Now I have to fight these guys again. Oh, they really mess with your waiver. Ugh. I'm not doing very well. I'll just kill the archers and meet you back where I'm actually kind of doing well. I really have to remember what I said in the tutorial, is don't be hasty. Take your time, because jumping platforms like this can really screw you up, because once you commit to a direction, you have to commit to it. That archer. That's odd. I have never gotten a refill where it does... Okay, I have 16 bolts now. Not complaining. Open this door, and get through, and out of here. Okay, next room, I actually have the return of pushing blocks. You wouldn't even remember that if you didn't remember the scorpions and also the paw prints on the blocks. Also. Punching, kicking bugs, what with your crossbow out, mashing the button, is not conducive to saving your bolts. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a room that kind of gives me a bit of a tr bit troubles. Dip your blubbers. Not only just pushing blocks. Why did I say that? A lot of the blocks that can be pushed into this um, dungeon can only be pushed. Not a lot of them can be pulled, and you won't actually know why. I'm just getting that treasure for the sake of treasure and getting back some of the lives I've lost. But, it's rather an annoying concept. Now, the platforming of this point is something I definitely use the more top-down perspective for. Just so I know exactly where I'm jumping from. Because so you have to be really precise and really good. There we go. Alright, let's get this checkpoint. And then be on our way! There's more blocks to be pushed. Now here's a dick move. You are... And I pretty much just showed that off in its entirety. Pushing the block, a guy pops out, you are not prepared for it, you're gonna die. That... Why would you do that? And why would I keep zooming in when the circle button is the block button? Heart's back. But yeah, it's it's really just a dick move on the game's part, on the game's part, and you cannot pull these blocks. Now to do more of this jumping, I should have this out. But I don't. Now I do. Now I don't. Nothing over there though. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! Jesus. I'm not going to deal with this guy just now. I'm going to let him fire arrows. He can't actually hurt me because his line of fire is not level to mine. A good exploit about the archers is that they cannot fire um, above or below them. They can only fire straight ahead. So use that to your advantage. Yeah, wait a minute. Whoa! Guy... Stop it. Please, please. Take that. How about you? I could have just shot him, but I'd rather take him down with the sword. Much more satisfying for the archers.
Hello. Uh, 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 uh. I keep. There we go. It's not so hard after you get pummeled once, I guess. Except I didn't want to be pummeled in the first place. Okay. We're still not done with this room. This room is actually rather large. And I believe this is where the instant death pits come into play, because it's so huge. But, yeah. D Circle button. What is with the... What is with me? Give me, thank you. All right, health is a good thing to have. Now we're at the end of this room. Okay. Before I push it all the way through, is there anything else? No. Okay. So I'll push this out of the way and pull this one back. This is the only block that could be pulled back, and well. You'll know, but eh, only the one, and the rest can't be pulled. Kind of annoying. Okay, another one of these target practice forces for crossbows. I do not like these places at all. Way too... I'd say dangerous. But be prepared to be hit a lot. Like so. Like, and he's just on a platform. He, he's literally there to screw with you. Not in that way. Alright, let's get to the life then. That's something I do want. Wait, there. Life, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's a good day. It's a good day for adventure and knighthood. Now I honestly have to... I honestly have to wait for it to come back. Or can I get it from here? Yeah, take that. Sucker. And what? No, Archer! <laughs> Archer, why? Oh no! Oh my god! No! Can I get to that life? I'll be right back. Life is mine! Archer, you are too. See, I can fire in multiple directions, whereas you cannot. Which makes me superior. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's another archer. Hit. Never mind. Oh, I hit the g <laughs> Oh, that is an amazing shot. That was close. I shot the target on the right side of the bridge. I've never done that before. I couldn't even see it. Want out of here so bad. <laughs> oh, meet you, meet you at the end. Jump, yes. All right, out we go. Are we done? No. <laughs> it, if it's not one thing, it's another with this dungeon, really. 
Huh, but next up we have these rolling things. Where did they come from? I have no idea. But they're really, they're really something. You have to avoid them at all costs, and your main objective is to get into these little corners here, which have each of the keys that you're going to be needing. The corners where you're going to be sliding down are probably the safest places of in, in any place that you're going to be at. Here we go, two keys. Wait for the next roller to go past. Rollover always take one heart off of you, so be extra careful. And then run like heck. That makes three. And come on. Move it, you fool! There we go. All four of the keys. I don't know why they didn't do a red cherry key, but honestly, I'm fine with it. I don't want to complain more. And don't use crossbow bolts. Sometimes they just don't work. Great key! Alright. Now we have to find the right ramp that goes to where we're supposed to go. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh god. That isn't it. That isn't it. Nope. Commit. I'm a fool! Oh god. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of... <laughs> oh, this dungeon is full of fun. Now we have this wise guy. And we take him down and we get a key. I have never found a use for this key. I have never I have never found a use for this key. So I usually leave it to just kind of disappear on its own. Because one thing about this game is that whatever you done items you get are going to be stuck in your inventory area for pretty much the entire rest of the game, and still, I've never found a locked chest for that. So, this next room pretty much incorporates this bridge here. And of course, crossbow. So the main thing you're going to be doing here is rotating this bridge, which, um, it's simple enough. But you're going to be doing some movement maneuvers as you continue along. For instance, there's an archer here who can simply go away. Ah. Archer, where are you firing? Doesn't matter to me. Anyway. Get rid of that, refill. I kind of miss having 16 bolts. Well, now we have to hit that and we have to get back on the bridge. Ah. Yeah, that that's kind of the annoying part, is that you have to do stuff like this. The problem is that... Okay, it does come back down. In a really obtuse way, because I wouldn't think of shooting this target. I would think of shooting this target to bring it back down, but nope. That's not how it works. Silly game. Alright. Onward and upward and spinward. Oh, hi, guy. Not as much as a dick move as I thought that uh, guy behind the blocks was. But kind of annoying all the same. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a target. This target is a bit of an annoyance, though. And go! There we go, on the bridge. Let's restock for the next part. Can I 
you shoot your hand? No, I cannot. All right, I'll take you on first hand. Oh, now you're blocking. You're the first of your people to be actually be kind of smart and strategic in your fighting. See, here's the second key. That's why I don't pick up the key from the first guy on the bottom, because this key shows up and... This one has the treasure chest. All right. There's only one locked treasure chest as far as I know. However, where is the last target? My correction, switch. Let's get out of here. Now we're on to the final bits of this dungeon. Look, there's guys here. Defeat Reggie and we'll be free. Defeat Reggie and we'll be free. It, it, you don't look like you have a harpoon, buddy. You're also glaring your teeth at me. Maybe I don't want to leave. Get you out of here. Oh hey, I found Waldo. Or what is? That's actually kind of cool for the level of detail for a PS1 game, the tail. But I kind of like that, even though it kind of looks weird. But, of course, all of these prisoners pretty much say the same thing. I don't know why, what they're prisoners of, because... Well, in this dungeon we didn't really get a lot of info any information, in fact, about prisoners from Reggie. Yeah, so... That's something that doesn't really make sense to me as a... It, to me personally? Anyway, there's a teleporter over here, and here's something interesting. It's a fridge. Hmm. Now, according to the developer, there's supposed to be like a six salary and a carrot inside of this refrigerator who also say, Defeat Reggie and we will be free! Because people have looked into the game files and saw that there was an unused line in the game files. Apparently it has to do with this. But according to the developer, that is his favorite model. <laughs> Reggie, where are you? There you are. I kind of want health. I really want health before I take you on. Shoot. <sighs> you think you can be sneaky, but you can't. His robes look like a house coat on Reggie. <laughs> but now we have to face Reggie, who is a bit of an annoyance. Mainly because he can use magic spells because of the magical robe he's wearing. I find it odd that the crossbow, you're not actually using the crossbow for this one. I might actually just die for the sake of dying, just so I have full health going into the battle and not having to run around to get health. Anyway, Reggie. Reggie is a bit more powerful than the other bosses. He has three attacks, the lightning bolts, the close combat, and of course the fire. He loves spamming. Oh, come on, really? Ah. I will defeat you, Reggie. Of course he can block close range, but he's actually really fast with his close range. And I'm not fast enough. Wow. And the difference between him using his close combat and his lightning? Really not great. Fight me! There we go, now I'm actually getting some good hits on him. Holy crap. I didn't expect 
expect that to happen. There we go, and I have him down to the... That went a lot better than I thought it was going to do it. Oh no, I'm dead, I can't... You can't have a sappy backstory, I'm sorry, Reggie. Well, that's him dealt with. I'm not talking to the same person I'm talking to right in front of me. But I... I win! Yay! Reggie, and everybody is... Wait a minute. Who is this? Well, I'll look into him later. For now, treasure. Because, wow, I am down to three lives. What did I have at the peak? Like, 14? 14, 15? Yeah, this is the area that is going to be you using up most of your lives. I wasn't lying about that. And one more treasure chest over here, and then we can see who our man over here is. Hey, dude. You seem happy. You also have bear trap teeth. It's Bad Custard! Yeah, remember him from the intro who is apparently the big cute bad guy that we haven't seen until now? Yeah, that guy. He can't do anything, of course, it's locked up, and... Well, we can follow him through the teleporter, but I want to see about those prisoners. Hey, prisoners! I freed you from Reggie! Or... Nope. Apparently I can't go see the prisoners. I trust they're free. Bah. But that is it for Dungeon 4. A long one. But... It's a really mixed bag of being fair and unfair, in my opinion. However, we now... Where is Cornflower? Let's go find him. Kingsley, stop looking at the birds. Because now that we're done with that, Reggie is defeated. So let's go see what Cornflower has to say when we give him back his robe. His house coat. He's probably inside. Hello! <laughs> yeah, it's nothing like this robe I'm wearing right now. But, of course, wizards always have to have spares. So what he gave us was actually a magic gemstone, which you can kind of see on his shield. Right there. It's green and kind of like that. <laughs> kind of like what? I don't know. I better speak English better. But the gemstone is our final piece. But what do we do with a gemstone? Well, we might as well just go back and see what's going on with the king and queen. Maybe they can actually answer some questions. And really, we can't actually look at what the prisoners are doing in the castle ruins. The place is locked up again. But I'm sure they got out. Absolutely positive. So that is it. So see you next time, everyone, as we return to Carrot Castle. Speak to the king and queen and see what we actually... What else we have to do? What can we do with the true knight pieces? True knight items? See you next time, everyone!